Easy work. Oh, it's got to stop there. Yeah. <laughs> Can't go over that, guys. We uh, definitely don't want to go any further. <laughs> Guys, welcome back to the RC store and my name's Ammo. Guys, been itching to get this one started. The SCX Honcho by Axel. Guys, this particular vehicle, we have taken it out for its first run. If you haven't seen that video, there's a link just up here. Be sure to check that out. This car is so capable as an RTR out of the box. However, I want to take this to the next level. So, what I've done is brought some parts for it to start modifying it. And in this video, you're going to see this running with the new modifications. Now, all the modifications that I'm doing to this are purpose related. I'm not just doing them to make it aesthetically look better. I'm actually doing it for it for the performance of the vehicle. So it performs better. Now, it is a trail rig. However, it's a trail cross crawler and it crawls really, really well. So... Without waffling too much, I'm going to go into exactly what I'm going to do. I'll show you all the components I'm going to fit, and then I'll go ahead and fit them. I probably won't do that on camera because it'll probably bore you. And then we'll go straight into some action and let's see how it performs. The so first thing first, guys, is wheels. Now, the reason that I am putting these wheels on, some of you may not like them, some of you may love them. Uh, they are bead locks and the reason that I chose these particular bead locks was the weight and um, these were the heaviest wheels I could physically find um, off the shelf for this vehicle and the idea behind heavy wheels is to keep the weight all down on the bottom end of the car so try to keep the top end uh, light the bottom end heavy just for it to basically put more traction down when it's climbing up them steep rocks and as you've probably seen in our old videos, guys, we do climb some steep rocks. <laughs> um, so that's the idea behind that. I'm going to put them wheels on. I'm going to still use the standard tyres because I personally believe these standard tyres are absolutely fantastic for what they are. I will upgrade them at some point. Um, however, I just didn't see the need to upgrade them just yet considering the car's only been out once before so i thought to myself i'll use the stock tires and i'll mount them on the new wheels and get some extra weight on the lower end also what we're doing is we're going to put some gpm wheel extenders on now these wheel extenders basically just go on to the original mounts and it'll help build the track out a little bit what that will do for the truck will give it more stability and also you'll find that it'll flex a little bit more too. Another thing that I was going to do because I found the rocks that we're climbing up are quite tactical and they're quite challenging and I was hitting underneath the belly pan. Me being me, I don't like to damage my cars. <laughs> um, probably a lot of you probably out there probably don't either but then you're probably thinking and saying it's a crawler. It's going to get damaged and scoffed. Guys, I'm that over the top. This actual crawler's actually got PPF on it. <laughs> I've actually used real car PPF on this shell just to protect it as much as I can. I know it's going to get scoffed, damaged, etc. But that's just me. So I've brought um, some metal guards from Yee Racing. And these are basically the belly pan. And I've also got some diff protectors going on as well so they will sit underneath just here on the front and rear um so they're, they're the bits i'm going to do to start off with i'm also going to adjust the suspension the rear suspension i'm going to angle it slightly more forward um, a lot of you guys that have the scx6s or been watching the scx6s you'll probably know exactly what i mean the location point instead of the shock facing straight it will be angled a bit more forward which allows a bit more articulation right guys enough waffling i'm going to get this done and i'll see you guys out on the rocks let's get into this guys we're here at the location with the scx6 and we've also got the scx10 2 honchos we're going to take these on a couple of trails take them up some crawling rocks and let's see how they get on uh, it'll be nice to see 
big boy against a small boy. All right, guys. First, first things first. Like we did last last week, we're gonna try and get both rigs up there in the most technical way possible and see what happens. <laughs> All right. Carl's got the little honcho there. Oh, it's doing it. It's making light work out of this. It is a cold day. Let's see if it can get over here. Oh, fair play. Bit of slippage. Just trying to find a different line. <laughs> it just keeps biting, keeps finding another line. It's going. Oh, oh no! Oh, she's still up. Oh yeah. She's up the most hardest part. The last piece of the course. Come on, you can't get stuck right at the end. Uh, <laughs> and he's a nap. <laughs> <laughs> right at the end. She got there. All right, next car, SCX6, guys. Oh, oh. Sitting there. Eating that alive. This is still on standard tyres, guys. We've obviously put some nice heavier wheels on it. Um, and just mine the axle. Yeah, and then my, minor little alterations with other bits. Oh. And my rescue truck's here. And gone. Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> I think we've got a victory run. Nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, we're making our way to the next stage, guys. Seeing this little climb. Thought it'd be quite cool to do. It's absolutely made a meal of that. And the SCX10. This has got the advantage of being a lot more nimble. <laughs> we have got um, Gillen controlling this today. Um, here's Gillen, guys. You know, he's camera shy. <laughs> <laughs> and he's made it right guys um we're gonna actually climb through this little valley and see if we can get the other end all right so the scx 10 guys is going first oh, it takes a lot more skill with a smaller truck i guess say that in a minute when you're trying to get that big enough <laughs> Yeah, true. <laughs> hey, don't worry, we'll find something to blame. <laughs> yeah. It is quite cold today, guys, so the rocks are cold, a bit slippery, damp. In the summer, this is going to be ace. We're gonna have so much fun here. Right, he's struggling. Let's see if he can find that right line. Bunny up, son. Just trying to get some traction. No. 
<laughs> right, little Babby didn't make it, so Daddy's turn. Daddy probably won't make it either. No, that that's got a uh, talented driver as well. As you can see. Oh, that's painful ammo. It's no. got BPF. <laughs> <laughs> Testing out them orbs. Yeah. <laughs> it's just trying to find that right line. <laughs> right, I don't think we're going to get up this one today guys, it's just too, too cold. cold. So we'll move on to the next one. Right, another car out guys, this is the SEX 10 Gladius 3, is that right? Yep. It is, yeah. <laughs> right, slightly longer wheelbase guys, and we're going to try and see if this will make it up. Should embarrass absolutely everything else. Oh, no way! Close! Uh, whoa! Right, the hardest bit's out of the way. Right, we're not playing scale here, by the looks of it. We're using brutal force. <laughs> right, I don't think this is going to do it either, guys. But this has got the furthest up there um, with a bit of power. It is extremely steep, quite muddy in there. Nah, no, just wants to go sleep. Right, next stage. Gladius going for this descent. Yeah, it's handling that really well. It's that long wheelbase though, isn't it? And the portals. Oh, is that on portals as well? It's done that oh, bit really well. <laughs> cut that bit. <laughs> we, don't, we don't do we don't cut, cut. skilling. <laughs> right, we're all recovered. Miserably on this drop, though. Let's see how we get down here. Oh, he's taking it nice and slow there. That's quite a big steep drop off the other side, as you're going to see in a second. But he's hugged that wall. Oh, it's done that well. Nice. <laughs> Was not expecting that. <laughs> nice, nice little wall hugger. Gillen's good at hugging things, he's got plenty to hug. <laughs> <laughs> right, next up, the SCX6, the big beast. Nice and easy. I will say, um, 
the turning circle has dropped on this obviously yeah. since we've extended it but one thing i'm going to say now so when we put these diff covers on i made a little running joke about them having teeth on and biting into things and lo and behold it's full on bit in <laughs> <laughs> it has as well yeah so <laughs> let's tow her back oh Ready? Yeah, take two. <clears throat> oh, that's coming that nice and slow now. <laughs> tires are cut, contorting nice for standard tires. Are oh, you going to get that turn angle though with those wider wheel wheelbase? And after a bit of a bit of a two point turn. Struggling to turn with the wider wheelbase, that's for sure. Maybe a stronger steering server. I think that is one of the things that people have said, yeah, I agree. With quite a lot. It's done that bit easily. I mean, it is only just fitting down, but I'm just re repositioning myself here. But there we go. Flex there, yeah, hell of a lot. Oh, we're gonna have a little bit of a, a lay down. Can we recover it? And he's recovered it. We're back up. Beautiful. Now, is he gonna choose the same line that the gladiator went, or is he gonna? It's too big to go towards the right, isn't it? May well be. Right. I'll try it. It's where it drops off here. When that back wheel drops off, you're going to have an issue. Oh. Oh, no issue at all because it's just slid straight through. And just so you can see, guys, that Gladius, it dropped off that. <laughs> I mean, that's quite a big drop down. For this, it looks like nothing, but. And a bit of a cartwheel. <coughs> and she's down. Yeah, definitely. Like Ammo just said, needs, needs a stronger steering servo. Um, I don't know, can you alter the endpoints on that controller? Um, no. So maybe an upgraded controller as well, just so we can actually play with the endpoints on the steering. I like Spectrum. <laughs> yeah, That's right. Because you do. Yeah, right. How many <laughs> times you had to bind it? <laughs> Never. <laughs> <laughs> right. Next car. So baby Honcho is now going to take the same trail. To be fair, this will probably either ace it or it'll tumble all the way down. <laughs> it'll be one or the other. All right, look at that. Carl's controlling this, making it look very realistic, very scale-like. A bit of throttle there. This is the advantage with these smaller rigs. They literally fit through all the little gaps. And we did have this discussion before we bought the SEX6. Carl was saying that you'd probably have issues with the SEX6 getting through some of these bits because it's so big. Um, however, it's done well. We just need that stronger steering servo. Oh, look at that, guys. Can the baby honcho do it? Oh, I made a meal of that. Nice and easy, guys. It must be a honcho thing where they just drop at the bottom. Yeah. Kyle. Yeah, they don't they don't like the little lips at the end. <laughs> <laughs> they just have to have a nap at the end, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, the batteries are dead on the controllers for the little ones. However, you've probably seen the video where we got up this rock here. Um, 
when we brought out the Rift and the FTX, bloody is so. We're going to take up the SCX6 and let's see if we can get to the top. Um, that's not how babies are made. Take two. <laughs> Definitely need a, a strong steering side. Okay, how boring it She's up. She's not getting quite enough bite on them tyres. You definitely need a warmer day. But she's made it to where the others made it. No, the rift got here, didn't it? Before it fell off. Um, so close. It's just not quite getting the bite, is it? If in doubt, you can go flat out. <laughs> <laughs> Second gear flat out, yeah? No, this is still in there first. I am going up a steeper side though. There you oh, go. Close. Got to hook that over and. <laughs> that was close. Right, guys, we're going to try and uh, get up this one now, which has got. It's got two different cambers on it, so you've got the main first start and then the slightly lower camber. Probably should have gone a bit slower on that. Yeah, yeah, for me. We're, yeah. Do, we're doing basher speeds now. Not quite getting it, is it? Those, it is I think cold. The tyres are just too cold. The rocks are freezing cold, they're slick. They have got moss on them as well, so... We do pick like the craziest time isn't it, to do this sort of stuff. It's not just the craziest time, we put, we're doing the biggest of challenges. I mean, there's not a lot of people out there that are doing stuff like this. I mean, I've seen videos of people driving around fields and thinking that's crawling. <laughs> uh, and that's just not crawling. Yeah, people have done reviews on um, certain vehicles. I think how they were kind of referring to, they're going around in circles on a muddy field and saying it's one of the best crawlers and not actually showing it crawl yeah um, so we are doing tactical stuff um, i mean these are not for the faint-hearted just to show you guys the size difference i'm i'm like six foot four and if you have a look yeah that's it's huge but it's not just huge i mean if i go around here and we have had cars up here the actual the actual gradient of it is just ridiculous but yeah we'll, we'll come back in the summer as well and try these again obviously all right guys we're gonna have a little bit of a articulation test try and put it over some of these rocks here something a little bit smaller i know but we want to try and get as many different angles of this car as possible for to be thorough for everybody really Going for this one, guys. Quite a steep one, to be fair. It is quite a steep one, but basically, we want to be able to show you guys what you can do and what you can't do with this rig, just to save you the hassle of doing it. Um, we're definitely talking earlier on about maybe putting some wheel weights on the front of this, uh, just to help keep it planted. Wow, it's done it. Oh, I mean, you had no chance of getting down the other side, but the fact that it's got up there. 
I mean, that's pretty impressive. It's done well with that. It's done really well with that. Let's go for another challenging one. So should we try those over there? Can do. Here we go, guys. See how we go on a side angle, side crawl. Just slightly caving in there. Yeah, I mean, we got up, it had a little bit of assistance by myself, but. Some no foams in there. Yeah, some no foams again. Would work. Uh, we're going to have to see if we can get some design because I don't think there's actually any out there for these yet. Um, there's that chap that I use, Chewy Prince. I'll give him a shout. Yeah. See what he can do. Oh no. No. Done. I like the shape, I like the way. What you done? Oh. <laughs> right. oh, something else just popped as well on that other side. Tires come off the bead. Um, no, it's just the tires come off the bead. Yeah. Right, we're going to get this fixed. Oh, God, here we go. <laughs> Alright, Gillen's trying to get up. He's had one too many today, guys. It's, being old. <laughs> it's not old, look. He's got the drunken wobble on. <laughs> the needles. They're gonna hit in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> right guys, SCX6 Honcho all fixed, tire put back on. I don't know what that's doing. <laughs> Lost you in for attention, I think. <laughs> a little bit of a meteor shower with uh, axial cars today. <laughs> I didn't even realise that <laughs> until now. Uh, but yeah, let's carry on with this and let's see how far we can get. All right guys, we're gonna go for the descent here. I mean, it doesn't look, it's really hard to get camera angles, but there we go, just so you can see. Got a nasty rock just there. Yeah, it's definitely gonna catch that diff. You try and set your tire on it. To get that over. I know we keep saying it guys but steering servo is an absolute must. <laughs> Car's here. <laughs> try that again. Yeah we'll try that again. That's it, quite a tough one that is isn't it? Yeah. So I think you've got to hug this side of the rocks a little bit more. I mean, I am worried for my face here because I am less than a meter away from it. But, oh well. That's beautiful. Look how slow and controlled that's coming down this time. Oh! Quite too soon. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> You're right there. Yeah. There we go. Just that little bit too much weight on the front end, didn't they, on that bit? For those little descents but the little honcho did that as well yeah. there we go it just struggles with the steering servo here we go guys a little bit of trail running when i say running we mean running Yeah, this has got no worries on this sort of surface at all. Oh! Oh, let's see what we can make of this one then. Yeah. Yeah, it's eating that alive. 
Easy work. Yeah, easy work that. So I think this is more the sort of style that we need to be looking at for this truck as it stands at the minute. Um, obviously, as we start upgrading it and things, we might get it up there with where the rift is and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, if you have a look at the terrain, of what it's like, um, it's quite steep. Yeah. And that just ate like a champ. Nice. All right. See how we can get across this front. We can't. See <laughs> the isn't it? Yeah. These dips are just catching on everything. Look at that. Is he going to go for the full descent? I don't think I have a choice on this one, do I? No, it's going to be a full descent. Oh, God. Wow. This is where four-wheel steer would help. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just this back wheel, it's just caught up. There we go. Not got the grip to pull back. No, what I'm noticing here is the wheels are spinning and the tires are moving, look. Look at the bottom front, front wheel, the bottom. Oh. Yep. Yeah, the wheel's turning inside the tyre. So that may have been an issue on this. Yeah. All right. Easy work. Oh, it's got to stop there. Yeah. <laughs> Can't go over that, guys. But yeah, definitely don't want to go any further. <laughs> oh God. So I heal for free. <laughs> Down this last little trail here. Well, we've got one more trail after this. Back slides funny. Look at that. Yes. Just got to try and pull it around nice now. Yeah, this is where this car's found its own. Oh no, we've got an issue. I think we're going to have to add some glue to these tyres rather than just relying on the beads. We've got one big descent here. Loads of little technical turns and stuff. Let's see how this servo holds out up here. Look at that articulation. Some twist on that. Look at that. This is gonna be challenging because it drops on both sides. Yeah, it's got a bigger drop on this side, so. Gotta be slow and steady here, we don't want to end up down there quick. <laughs> yeah. You were alright there too. If you big steer, as much as it'll steer to the left. My left, not yours. <laughs> <laughs> alright, it's coming down. Ooh. Bit of a 
jump there. So overall guys, after putting these additional extras on, I think the next upgrade is definitely going to be a new steering servo. It's a must on this, I believe. So that's the next thing we'll be doing. And probably putting some glue on the tires just so it holds, uh, holds on better with the bead. But guys, if you like our content, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to smash that notification button and we'll see you guys in the next one. But for now, we will leave you with this descent. And off she goes.